Welcome uh, to all the participants on this webinar. Um, on February 13, 2023, ICA added ICAI uh, to the list of recognized professional qualifications for admission uh, as an associate member. Um, many ICAI members have already initiated the process of becoming associate members of ISCA. Many have actually uh, completed that journey and are now associate members of ISCA and some are in the process. In this journey, many others have reached out to us to ask questions on the benefits as well as the practical process that they need to follow to become members. And so today's session has been arranged with that intent in mind. Um, we do have today um, a lot of distinguished guests. Uh, we will be joined shortly by the president and vice president of ICAI uh, from Delhi. Uh, in addition, we are very pleased to also welcome today the ISCA team. Um, we got uh, Ms. Fankov, uh, the CEO. We got Cheryl from the membership team. And uh, there are other members from uh, ISC as well. So uh, today's session will be a very informative session, I'm quite sure. Uh, but before we get down to the practical uh, demonstration of how to apply for membership, etc. We will be going through a few addresses. First, I would invite our uh, Singapore chapter uh, president, uh, Somnath, uh, to to basically give a welcome address. Um, and after that, we'll be doing an address uh, by uh, the vice president of ICI, then the president of ICI. Then I'll request Ms. Uh, Fancor to actually address this gathering as well. And after that is where we get into the actual uh, presentation of the demonstration of how you start applying. Uh, and we'll end up with uh, the question and answers that most of you have sent to us already. And if there are other questions, I'll be happy to take them along the way. Yeah. So without any further ado, can I hand this over to uh, Mr. Adak, please? So. Thank you. Thank you, Mahesh. Very good evening. On behalf of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, the Singapore chapter of ICAI, and ISCA, Institute of Singapore Chartered Accountants, I welcome you all to this webinar on uh, the application process for uh, becoming associate ISCA member for all Singapore chapter members. I extend my deepest gratitude to the Honorable President of ICAI, Sri Aniket Talatiji, the Vice President of ICI, Shri Ranjit Kumar Agarwalji, and also the CEO of ISCA, Pancorn, for taking out time and being with us today on this session. Maheshwar, uh, or rather Mahesh, my good friend, has already um, sort of shared the agenda for the day. So without further ado, I'd like to request um, the Vice President of India, Shri um, Ranjit Kumar Agarwalji, to please address the attendees on the webinar today. Team ICI, if you are ready, please. Uh... Uh, yes, Bhumnadji, sorry. Uh, he is joining in next two, three minutes. In the meantime, if we can kindly request CEO Vista for, for her address, please. Sure, sure, Mudidji. Uh, thank you. That was Mudidji from the International Affairs Committee of ICI. Thank you for that. Uh, can I request uh, Pankor, CEO of ISCA, to please address the attendees first? Good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me clearly? Okay. So um, although President Aniket and uh, Vice President Ranjit is yet to join us, but I think I should still officially uh, say hi to both of them. So good afternoon, President Aniket, Vice President Ranjit, uh, Singapore Chapter Chair Somna, Vice Chair Nishant, uh, friends and colleagues from ICAI and my ISCA team. So I hear some of you pronounce uh, ISCA in different ways. So we are known to... Uh, 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 known to our short name ISCA, you can address us as Team ISCA. And um, I wish we could have this event in person, but I guess uh, we are all used to engaging each other virtually after a few years of experience holding virtual networking events. And uh, after all, virtual is better than none, right? 
So speaking to you today reminds me of your incredible hospitality and memorable experiences we shared during our last uh, physical meeting at World Congress of Accountants back in Mumbai. And um, it all started from uh, former President Debashi's uh, visit to Singapore to promote World Congress. And he was accompanied by then Vice President Aniket, uh, who is now President of uh, ICAI. And during the meeting, former President Debashi and President Aniket asked if ISCA is keen to explore membership pathway to support one another, uh, our members in our own local region. And the answer to them is, why not? And time has uh, swiftly passed and it's been six months since then. And fast forward, the two ISCA and ICAI team work together to review the membership pathways. And here we are marking an important milestone as we come together for this joint info sharing session, uh, the first of many to come. And I have been with ISCA for 10 years and I must say until recently, I have the opportunity to work closely with the ICAI team. And each time when we have interactions, I'm always impressed with the amount of energy of your ICAI leadership team uh, bring to the table. And I absolutely admire your passionate towards the accountancy sector. And I'm also thrilled by the support we have uh, received and uh, more importantly, the shared objectives we strive to achieve to advance the accountancy profession and to establish a global recognition for members of both ICAI and ISCA, transcending geographic boundaries. And as accountancy professionals, uh, we speak a universe language and are bound by international standards that empower us to contribute to and lead organizations across the world. We are the only profession that speak one language, one business language across the world. And having said that, we must continuously sharpen and expand our technical skills and professional competencies in areas such as digital skills, especially now when AI is taking the center stage, things like sustainability is another growing demand area, financial forensic as another example, and many, many more to come throughout our careers. So whenever we are, I'm asked this question, Fan, are you worried that AI is going to take over the job of an accountant? Immediately, my answer is no, because of the expanded diverse pathways that we accountants can be involved. And on this note, Recognizing the need to support our members, we have actually launched a new training platform called Accountify. So essentially, Accountify is doing professional training using the Netflix model, whereby once you subscribe to the platform, you gain access to more than 200 training content. And the platform covers a wide array of topics, such as the FRSs, ethics, tax, sustainability, uh, emerging technology, and many more content that we're covering. And I believe this is an area where ICI and ISCA, we can collaborate to provide mutual support and enrichment for our members. And uh, by now, if you ask the ICI uh, Singapore chapter team, uh, they will tell you that uh, collaboration lies in the heart of what we do here in ISCA. Uh, we have fostered partnership with our fellow PAOs. Just yesterday, a few of us met up over professional bodies connect here at ISCA House. We had really good uh, uh, networking session here at ISCA House. And um, we also have very strong partnership with trade association, chamber, government agencies, and uh, Institute of Higher Learning to establish very robust network for our members and engage with the broader business community. And these initiatives have paved way for our members to connect with accountancy firms, government agencies, government business leaders, and enabling them to stay abreast of the latest news and development in the Singapore and region near Singapore. And uh, members have expressed their appreciation for the opportunities created to connect and engage with professionals from specific sectors in the public sector. And um, this interaction, in fact, have opened doors to deeper engagement and meaningful exchange among our members and business community. So I shall not be in between you and uh, President uh, Aniket's speech, and I'd like to conclude my speech with uh, good news. And uh, you'll be pleased to know that we have an upcoming joint event between ISCA and ICAI on uh, 11th of July, I was told, where we will be bringing in uh, extinct guests 
to speak on topics such as a code of corporate governance, SGX listing and continuing obligations. And uh, thereafter, we will have a networking session with a refreshment food for all, arranged for all of you. So please mark your calendar if you have not done so already and uh, do look out for the invitation. So um, thank you for your time today and I certainly look forward to welcoming you to Iska House. Thank you. Thank you, Fan. Uh, that was really encouraging. I think you have summarized uh, quite a lot in that short time. And uh, thanks for the thanks for saying this. And I want to reiterate this, that we are here for the common objective of promoting accountancy in Singapore and globally. Um, I can now see ICAI camera is switched on. So may I now request the Honorable Vice President of uh, ICAI, Sri Ranjit Kumar Agarwalji, to, to please address the attendees of the webinar today. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Somnath Adak, the chairman of our Singapore chapter. Uh, we have our very respected president of ICI, Aniket Talati, uh, the MCCA Maheshwar Ji, and uh, Ms. Fancourt, chief executive officer, ISCA, and all the delegates who are participating in this webinar. Uh, first of all, I welcome all of you in this very, very innovative and very uh, knowledge sharing webinar in which you have joined. I'm very happy that when I joined as a vice president of ICI on 12th of Feb, and our president became on 12th of Feb as ICI, uh, we got a mail from this ISCA that the members of the Institute of Charter Corps India who are residing in Singapore for more than six months can automatically get the degree of Institute of Associate, Associate Membership of ISCA. It's a very, very encouraging and very, very heartening to note. And we thanks ISCA for this recognition to our member of ICA. And uh, the kind of membership strength in our Singapore chapter is there. It's uh, more than 600 members are there and active members are more than 400. And uh, Singapore and ICI are related to AFA also, ASEAN Federation of Accountant, and uh, IFAC also, we are associate member there. So these two countries, as a India and Singapore, through this accounting body can do a lot of knowledge sharing, reciprocity arrangements, and contribution to the accounting profession at large in this ASEAN region and the IFAC as well. So I welcome all our members to wholeheartedly participate in the activity of the ISCA. And in, in the process, uh, we as a member of the ICA can be more benefited uh, through the knowledge setting of ICA and our knowledge can be shared by that body of ICA as well. So I welcome all of you in this uh, very, very important recognition. I congratulate all of you for becoming a associate member of the Singapore Institute by being there in the Singapore soil and also contribute wholeheartedly uh, to the various causes of the initiation done by the IS, ISCA in Singapore. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, thanks a lot. Can I now, now request uh, Honorable President of ICI, Aniket Talati ji, to please address all the attendees today? Thank you very much. Uh, to Madam Fancor, the CEO of ISCA, um, the Honorable Vice President of the Institute, Ranjit Agarwalji, who's sitting beside me, the Chapter Chairman of Singapore, Somnath Adakji, and his entire team, which has been working tirelessly to ensure that the uh, flag of the profession in Singapore remains flying very, very high. Let me say that I'm delighted today uh, to be in this uh, very important session that you have to answer uh, any questions that members may have with regards to the associate membership that our chartered accountants can take off ISCA. I go back to sometime last year when we had the opportunity to visit uh, ISCA and I met Madam Fan Kaur there and the wonderful hospitality and reception she and her entire team gave us in Singapore. Truly grateful and thankful to all of you there uh, for the wonderful affection that was showered on us and the wonderful discussions that we could have uh, in your office. Uh, let me state that it was uh, a memorable visit, not just for myself and the then president, but I think on behalf of the entire profession of Indian Chartered Accountants to understand the kind of efforts that all of you at ISC are putting 
to ensure that the bar of the profession uh, keeps raising higher. The wonderful publications that you come up with and all the regulation activity that you do for your membership. Um, as the Honorable Vice President mentioned, it was truly a delight uh, for both of us uh, because on 12th Feb, we had our changeover and the very same day, not only did we receive the um, congratulatory message on behalf of ISCA, but what was very important for us to see was also that, um, you know, you immediately granted associate membership subject to the conditions that you have to our members who have been in Singapore for more than uh, six months. I think that is truly something uh, which we deeply acknowledge and would like to thank all of you uh, for giving that gesture. I also go back to that meeting uh, where we had the discussion with regards to Yeah, I go back to the uh, discussion uh, that we had in ISC and of course uh, the, the invitation that we had extended to you, Madam, uh, to come and be a part of the World Congress and truly grateful to not just you, uh, your president and everybody else from Singapore who had joined the World Congress. It could not have been a World Congress without presence from so many countries and of course the special relationship that India enjoys with Singapore. I think it would have been incomplete uh, without ISCA's presence and uh, truly grateful that you could make it and you were there in all the days. We also had a sideline meeting with you uh, at the Institute office and I think this recognition is a step of you know, taking our friendship and our relationship to the next level. So once again, thanks to the entire ISCA team for this. I will only say to all our membership who is in Singapore that this is uh, not just a recognition, but is also a responsibility that is cast on each one of you by getting the associate membership of ISCA. I think uh, you all have to not just now live up to the expectations and standards of your mother institute, IS ICAI, but also now your mother institute in your new homeland, which is Singapore and make sure that you keep the flag of not just ICI, which you can see behind me flying high, but also the flag of ISCA flying very, very high because they have uh, extremely high levels of uh, ethics, conduct and expectation from membership. And I'm confident all of you who have lived in this city of Singapore, which is known for abiding by law and doing things right, you will also ensure that this continues uh, in ISCA. Uh, finally, I will only say that in India this year, uh, Madam Fancor and to everybody from Singapore, we are organizing a GLOPAC, which is a Global Professional Accountants Convention on 24th to 26th of November in Gandhinagar. It's a different location from where the World Congress was. It is in my home state of Gujarat, and that's where uh, we have a lot of development happening. There is now a gift city there which is going to be developed as a, a finance center uh, globally and where Singapore and Gift City can collaborate in a lot of aspects. So I think it's a destination which will make a lot of sense for all the membership of ISCA to come and visit and collaborate because it's another international financial center getting developed in Gift City. So I encourage you that you all become a part of uh, this event. And also one important event which we plan to do in Singapore along with the committee for members of the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code, which is on uh, insolvency. And I'm sure Somnaji will personally go and uh, visit and meet ISC. Of course, when we come there next week, we will look forward to meeting you in person and giving you a personal invitation for that insolvency summit. But without ISC, of course, that summit will also be incomplete. But I extend your my invitations to you to come back to India uh, on in the end of November and be a part of this GLOPAC, where both the professions can collaborate further. I once again congratulate all the members of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, the chapter there, who have now uh, qualified to become members of ISC. Make sure that you raise the bar and make sure that you keep the flag of the great country of Singapore and, of course, your home country, India, along with the flag of the two professions and the professional institutes of ICAI and ISCA flying very, very high. My best wishes to all of you. Thank you so much, Aniket Ji. I think the both the conferences that you mentioned, GLOPAC as well as Resolve 2023 in Singapore are one of their kinds. And definitely all of us, including ISCA, and we are going to meet ISCA next week in person, uh, should try to attend both the sessions, both the conventions, and make both of them a huge success. These conferences and conventions are coming at the right time because this year ICAI is entering its 75th year of existence. So it's a very special year for us, ICAI. 
Um, at the same time, I also want to congratulate ISCA for the 60th anniversary this month. They are celebrating it this month. So congratulations, Fancor and Team ISCA for uh, 60th anniversary. Uh, these things are coming just at the right time. Um, once again, I deeply ex express my gratitude to the ICI leadership and ISCA leadership for being present today, taking out their time from the valuable schedule and being here, sharing the words of inspiration for all the attendees today. At this point, I, I want to hand it back to Mahesh for a few uh, critical things, and then probably we'll let ICAI leadership as well as ISCA leadership uh, free to um, you know go out of this session if you want, because after that we will move on to the main working session. So just feel free to stay or leave as per your wish. Mahesh, over to you for two more minutes, yep. sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so um, once again, a warm welcome to everyone on the call. I know there have been a lot of uh, join us as we've been talking. Um, uh, a big thank you to, to Fancor and a big thank you to the uh, ICI leadership team joining us from Delhi today. Uh, at this stage, what I'd like to ask is that all of us who are on this call, and there are almost 70 plus people now, uh, if you could just turn on your cameras and we just would like to do a group screenshot uh, on this momentous occasion. Uh, it, not every day that uh, you know, an institute that is 75 years old and an institute that is 60 years old come together uh, in the new age of technology. So let's let's try and get a few screenshots. Uh, and after that, uh, I will hand over the, the space to Cheryl and her team from ISCA uh, to take us through a demo. Uh, but before that, if everybody is on, I know there are a few people who volunteer to take screenshots. So let's just say one, two, and three. Okay, and perhaps you might want to change your pose once again, unless you're frozen. One, two, and three. Okay, perfect. So yeah, one more, yeah, one more, just one more. We we missed okay. it here, so we just take. Okay, yeah, they're done. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Perfect. So thanks thank everyone. You, uh, thank you, thank you to honourable president and honourable vice president of ICAI. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks to uh, Fan from uh, ISCA. Uh, please stay around if you do. Uh, uh, if you can, uh, sorry, just a minute. I'm just going to mute something. Yeah, uh, but but meanwhile, um, for the other members, there have been a lot of questions on the process, on the process of how do we actually start our application to become associate members of ISCA, and that is what this session is for. Uh, Cheryl and her team from ISCA are going to do a demo for us first. Uh, once they've done the initial demo, uh, we do have some questions that have been submitted by our members. Um, I will be taking uh, the questions uh, instead of uh, we we'll get Cheryl and her team to respond to those questions. Uh, I think with the demo that we're going to go through, many of those questions are likely to be answered on their own. But if people still have any questions, I'd ask them to put this on the on the chat group and I'll pick them up and I'll moderate the session. The intent is to try and complete this by five, uh, 630, which gives us roughly around uh, 36 minutes to go. Right. So over to you, Cheryl. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Mahesh. Uh, let me just uh, share my slides. So good afternoon, everyone. While I share my slides, I would like to um, say hi to everyone whom I'm, some of you I've met yesterday, just yesterday at ISCA House, um, as well as those of you who are meeting first time, you know, online. So like uh, what our CEO Fan shared, uh, 11 July is the time that we will get to meet each other if I haven't met you face to face. So keep a lookout for that event. Do join us, come and visit Iska House. It's a beautiful space. So there's plenty to look around and uh, make friends with us. So we'll look forward to that. But uh, back to today's session, um, we will be share I'll be sharing with you, you know, um, how you can as an ICAI member already be admitted as an associate member of ISCA. And I heard that many of you here have already uh, are the first few who have joined the associate membership, but you still want to listen in to help your our friends here. Uh, so thanks to all of you who have joined us today. So um, first of all, I mean, just a thanks also to um, the um, uh, ICI team, uh, Chairperson uh, Somnath of the Singapore chapter for giving us this opportunity to share with you all our dear ICAI members about the ISCA membership. So thank you to Somnath and the team for this great opportunity. And um, 
I had the chance to meet uh, uh, a, few of, a few of you, uh, including Chairperson Somnath, just yesterday. I think if I remember your names correctly, Mr. Pawan, uh, Nishant, Kushal. And I heard that, you know, even your youngest uh, member in your Singapore chapter has already signed up to be an associate member. And he was one of the first few to do so. So for those of you who have yet to do so, um, please join us, you know, soon. So um, a brief introduction about ISCA, although you might have already heard of us. So we are the National Accountancy Body of Singapore. And like what uh, Somnath has shared earlier on this year, we are celebrating our big 60th birthday. So we are not as senior as ICAI, but we are on our way there. So celebrate with us our 60th birthday this month. It's our birthday month. Uh, we'll have plenty of activities going on. And if you wonder how many ISCA members we have currently, we have over 33,000 of them um, residing and working in Singapore as well as overseas. And our members are not just individuals. Recently, we also have um, introduced the corporate membership where we invite companies, organizations to join as our members. So we are also part of the Chartered Accountants Worldwide. I'm sure that is familiar to you because ICAI is also uh, a member of the Chartered Accountants Worldwide International Network. So we are at, located at 60 Cecil Street. I think um, many of you, uh, probably your offices are around the area. So if you have not been here, come by soon. If not, come by on the 11th of July. So this guy, you know, we we work for we 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 work for our members and the core the core of what we do is uh, our accountancy community. So there are different segments of members. Um, you'll be familiar with um, our biggest group, which are accountants in the commercial sector. That makes up uh, more than sixty percent of our thirty three thousand over members. We also have accountants in public practice, the professional services firms, as well as public sector finance and so on. So if you wonder, you know, Iska, you, do you only um, outreach to professionals? No, we also do a lot of outreach to uh, aspiring accountants, even as young as students in their secondary schools. So if you, you know, you have kids, uh, youths in the, um, uh, your children studying uh, in, in the local and overseas uh, schools here and you would like us to visit, feel free to reach out to me anytime. We would love to do that. So some of the things, you know, we want to bring to you as our ISCA member, there are four broad areas. Number one, of course, is professional recognition. Um, already you are a CA member of ICAI and that is a very prestigious title. In fact, my neighbor is an, uh, is an Indian family and I mentioned to them, you know, I work in a CA body. They told me that, you know, CAs are very highly regarded in India and you must, we, we are, I think, I'm sure all of you are very proud of that. So similarly, as you progress and advance in your career here, we also want you to give you the Singapore side of the professional recognition through um, designations such as the Associate ISCA, which you can start off with. And maybe from there, you can also think what else, you know, where, what else can you achieve, which I can, I'll be sharing a bit more later. So of course, you know, besides the professional recognition, we also want to support you in knowledge and expertise, professional development, and not forgetting helping you to expand beyond just the Singapore shores if you are keen to um, look into opportunities overseas in the ASEAN region. We have the ASEAN CPA title, as well as um, um, plentiful of opportunities to connect you with the Asian region and beyond. So this is just a very broad overview of the membership pathways. Um, of course, you know, today our main focus is on the associate membership because the good news is every one of you here can already join as our associate member by virtue of your ICAI membership. So that will make you fall under point three, which is other accounting qualifications. So don't wait any longer. As soon as later on after your dinner, you know, you can already start making your application to join as an associate member. So, of course, you know, like I mentioned, you may not just want to stop at being an associate member because as an associate member, you can progress to also go on to obtain the ISCA PBA title. So PBA stands for Professional Business Accountant. So if you wonder what else, you know, Cheryl, do I have to do to get this title? All you have to do is to take this ISCA PBA program, which is a six month program. 
So we invite you to, I may not have the time to share very detailed, uh, much details with you, but we invite you to find out more or, you know, come by, speak to us anytime. So of course, this is very familiar to all of you, the Chartered Accountant designation. So nothing is stopping you actually from pursuing the CA Singapore title if you aspire to do so. So one way in which you can do it is to go on to um, embark on the Singapore CA qualification program. So that's just a gist of the SCAQ program. Uh, it stands for Singapore CA qualification program. And then, you know, if you have uh, friends in the in your community, even your colleagues, you know, people whom you whom you know are uh, perhaps, you know, in an accounting or finance role, but maybe they they do not hold an accounting degree. So we have this special uh, pathway for them. It's called the experience professional pathway, whereby those individuals who have more than five years of relevant uh, managerial experience in the accounting and finance roles can also apply to be an ISCA member through the experience route. So for the experience route, like the name suggests, it's purely based on experience. So it's very suited for those of your friends, um, people whom you know, business partners who are not accounting trained, but they are already in this industry doing related um, roles, uh, uh, very, very closely related to accounting and finance. So do share this with them. And if you think, you know, oh, get being an associate, very easy, I can do that. Being a CA, I am already a CA and you want more. So in case you're running what's more for you, we have also this uh, specialization credentials. So this is when you your role uh, entails, you know, specializing in niche areas. We have three um, credentials, uh, specialization pathways. Number one, the Info Systems Risk Management uh, Program. We also have the infrastructure and project finance program and our last but not least our hugely popular financial forensic accounting qualification. So if you wonder, you know, how just how popular is it? It's so popular that even uh, recently in the last month or so, we have uh, we were invited by Hong Kong police to sign an MOU with them so that we can help the um, Hong Kong police to the police officers who, 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 who you know, uncover commercial crimes to be equipped with the financial forensic skill sets. So, you know, there's always something more for you to achieve and ISCA presents you the many choices that you can look at. So just a little uh, bit on professional development. So apart from professional recognition, like I mentioned, professional development is also an important uh, DNA in our blood as accountants, uh, as accounting and finance professionals. So ISCA, we are also a training provider. So we offer a huge range of courses. You can come to ISCA house to attend courses. You can um, attend virtually over our webinars and on 29 November this year, we are having a big conference on artificial intelligence. So do keep a lookout on that. It's on 29 November at the Marina Bay Sands Convention Hall. So we hope that all of you can be there to join us in this conference. So besides that, we also conduct in-house training for those of you who you know, like to invite ISCA to conduct in-house training for your staff, for your team members. And also we have Accountify, I think uh, Fan might have mentioned earlier on. This is a subscription-based learning platform by, where you can also access over 200 uh, learning modules. So ISCA is not just about, you know, um, uh, kind of your individual growth, your professional recognition. We also want to support you as our ISCA members in terms of your career. So for those of you who are already our associate members, you may be pleased to know that we have career support initiatives all complimentary for you. So if you'd like to you know, speak to our expert career coaches, you can sign up for an appointment. So it's confidential. We even have a special room set aside for these one-on-one -on -one career coaching sessions. So these career coaches come from one of our um, government-related bodies. It's called the E2I. Some of you may have heard. It stands for the Employment and Employability Institute of Singapore. So there are career coaches from there who will come to ISCA House and conduct one-to-one -one career coaching with you if you wish to speak with someone. And besides this, there's also career matching. Um, you know, for those of you who are employers who may be keen to hire CAs in Singapore for your teams, 
um, you can, you know, put up a job opening on the career matching portal and we can recommend you some names of our CAs in Singapore who are looking out for opportunities. And also for those of you here who are, um, I think I was supposed to, some, uh, many of you here are very senior, experienced professionals and maybe considering um, board or audit committee, uh, risk management committee appointments in many of our Singapore listed companies, charities in Singapore. So if you're keen to do that, just write to us uh, with your interest, your name and details. And whenever we have such opportunities, we will link you up with, the, with these organizations. So just a bit, uh, what I've shared is on the individual membership. So like what I shared, there's also a chance for your organization as a whole to join as our member. So recently we have joined, uh, launched this ISCA corporate membership where any organization in Singapore and overseas can join as a corporate member. And some of the benefits include uh, members rates for all your staff, regardless of whether they are ISCA members or not. And you also get uh, $500 credits for booking of our ISCA facilities. So in case you're wondering, hey, what, you know, for those of you who haven't been here, I'm sure Somnath can share with you how, how vibrant our uh, space is right now after we have uh, repurposed it. He has been here yesterday. So these are some pictures to show you. This is our lounge at level one. For, for those of you who are already our associate members, I wanted to share with you that as an associate member at, or as any individual ISCA member, you can already have complimentary access to our members lounge at level one and level two anytime you like during our office hours. So all you have to do is to download your ISCA mobile app. Uh, yesterday, I think I was teaching Kush, Kushal or Nishan how to do it. And then uh, you just have to scan your the QR code in your app and you can enter in. And the good thing is you can even bring guests who are not ISCA members. So the next time if you are in the CBD area and you want to you know, have a coffee catch up with a friend or a business partner, you make ISCA house uh, your, your go-to place. So your guests can also enter um, regardless of whether he or she is an ISCA member. They just need to scan the visitor QR code. So just a bit more about you know, how our level 2 looks like and then we also have our function rooms. For, for your, if, if let's say you like to uh, not do any workshops in ISCA house. Just to mention here, the level four function room is what we will use on the 11th ah, July event. Yes, yes, that's yeah. right, that's right. In fact, you're looking at the exact picture now, the one on the top right, function room at level four. So don't worry when you're here when you're when you're here on 11 July we won't let you just go to level 4 we will definitely want to bring you around level levels 1 and 2 you know to have a tour have some drinks at our lounge So you know I'm just showing some pictures here because I just wanted to send across the message that ISCA we're not just about serious things we want to make ISCA a community for all accounting and finance professionals and even business professionals. So you can see that there are many activities, networking events that we have for our members. Many of these are complimentary. Um, so you can see there's finance leaders round table, there's a um, fireside chat where we have our Singapore's ministers to come to ISCA house, Minister Indrani Raja, if you recognize her in the bottom photo. And also, um, for those of you, I think quite a few of you here are young professionals. So there's also a very fun networking events such as our Young Professionals Connect event where we have games, you know, a, a time of a, uh, a bonding uh, to help you to build connections beyond your organization. So for those of you, you know, who are, have heard so much and you are already very keen to become an ISCA member, and you would like to just you know, drop your name so that we can connect with you and direct you on that, you can scan the QR code that I'm showing on the screen right now. But don't worry if you, you know, um, miss this out, uh, we, we are here at Cecil Street, we won't run away. So anytime you'd like to find out more about ISCA membership and you prefer to speak to someone, we want to invite you to just walk over here, um, wherever your office is and then, um, 
speak to speak, speak to our membership consultants. Uh, you know our 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 staff at 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 the first floor to help you on with your membership journey. So I believe now is the time Thanks. for me to yeah yeah do the Thanks, demo. Cheryl. That's that's really informative. Uh, it's informative at multiple levels. I I really appreciate the fact that you've not just shared the benefits of the membership. You have shared the pathways to membership. Uh, in addition, you've introduced us to the awesome facilities that you have. Um, and yes, uh, I'm, I'm quite sure there are multiple reasons now to accelerate that journey to becoming uh, a member of ISCA, an associate member of ISCA. Um, Cheryl, can I now request yourself or your team to actually walk us through a demo of, yeah. of, uh, of how people can actually apply? And then yes. I will yeah. uh, probably take the questions at the end. Uh, to the other participants uh, on the on the call, feel free to drop your questions on the chat. Uh, if there are no questions, uh, I'm quite sure it'll be quite self-explanatory. If there are no other questions, we will pick up the questions that have been submitted previously. So back to you, Cheryl. Yep. Thanks so much, Mahesh. Uh, Mahesh. So so um, I'm just going to do the demo now. Don't worry. Um, for those of you who are wondering how you can go about it, I think one of you asked the questions you know, in the pre-submitted questions. Also, how do you do the application? So everything, almost everything's uh, I mean, online now. So it's pretty simple. You can even do it uh, on your mobile phone. So um, for those of you who are starting fresh, you do not, um, you know, this is your first time applying for ISCA membership. All you have to do first step, very simple. Go to the, our ISCA website um, and then click on my profile. So you can first step is to um, sign up for a for a free free account. Um, basically, it's like a login account to access to our ISCA portal. So you just have to indicate your email address, which will form your username as well as your um, password. So once you have done that, uh, because I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to skip past that step, which I believe is uh, super simple. Um, so I'm just going to go through the, the steps now. So once you have logged in, assuming we have created a free account, basically just an account uh, to start this application. So you can and you can log in and then immediately, you know, it will it will um, welcome you to the page. And you can you will notice that it's smart enough to know based on your email address whether you are already an ISCA member or not. So it will read something like not yet an ISCA member, join the membership by clicking uh, my membership, which is uh, here on the left of your screen. So you can click on that. Um, so I've already before this session already put in um, a draft application so that I save some time, um, you know, having to key in everything from scratch. So assuming I haven't done that, you will see um, the associate choice over here. So you just have to click on that uh, applying for associate ISCA and then click the red button. So once you have done that, the next page that you will see is to fill up your name, your personal details. So name, the generic information, which um, nothing too difficult. And then some of your contact information um, as well as, you know, uh, um, kind of like your consent for us to collect the data. So the next page that you will see, just give it a second while it loads. Okay, the next page is where you will start record uh, inputting your work experience. So you will see first question is you will be asked to choose your present um, employer. So um, you can choose it from here. If you don't see your employer, your company's name here, you can click on um, uh, others or non-AES in, uh, uh, to, to input the exact name of your organization. So what this means is that um, if your company or your organization is one of our listed as one of our accredited employers, you will not need to certify through copy your supporting documents. So that is the difference. So if your organization or your company is not found in this list, don't worry, you can still proceed with your application, but that would mean that you need to certify through copy your supporting documents. I think most of us here would be uh, familiar with what the CTC mean. I, I, CTC mean um, um, you might have been required to do, to do that during your ICAI membership, but basically it means getting a someone to sign off your photocopied uh, 
copy that you are uploading your supporting document as the true copy. So then you'll be asked to indicate your current employment status. Uh, so don't worry if those of you who are taking a break, you know, or, or are looking for opportunities, that you can select the correct uh, status. And then if you have a current employer, you can indicate your employment details here. So you just have to click the blue button, fill in the details. And then um, if you have uh, other work experience previously, you can also list them here. But no worries, you do not need to list all 10 of your work experience. You can do so. Um, you know, the, the latest view would be good enough. Of course, if you have, uh, can, can, if you can, you can list all, uh, but you can definitely update it also next time. So, um, you'll be asked to also choose the uh, domicile requirement for foreign applications. So, then you will have to choose the residing in Singapore and have prior six months of local work experience option. So if you move on to the next page, you will notice that it will start to ask you for your qualification. So for ICAI members, you just have to fill in this portion labeled as professional qualification. So like what I've done here, you can add a new record. So that's what I've done. So if you look inside, you can choose Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, which we have already populated inside. So you can just you know, find from the list inside here, ICAI. And then your the date of your com commencement of your course, your ICAI uh, exam program, as well as the date that you completed your final examination from ICAI. So you just have to fill in this section. Of course, if you want to also add in your academic qualification, for example, your degree, your master's, you can fill in um, under academic qualification. But primarily for ICAI members, minimal minimally is to put in um, the details for from your ICAI qualification, your ICAI membership. So you just have to go to next page and that's when you, it will ask you for your character reference. So I see a lot of questions on character reference. We will come to that later on during the Q&A. But for now, uh, briefly, you will have to fill in two character references. Um, it's pretty... Um, um, kind of a, th there, are, there are details here, so don't worry if you um, forget or you did not catch what I say. Um, when you go through the form, there's a step by step. It will ask you, okay, your first character reference needs to be a CA Singapore or a full member of an accountancy professional body recognized by ISCA. So I'm sure you can, you know, somebody else in ICAI, so he or she can definitely be your first character reference because ICAI is one of our the accountancy bodies recognized by ISCA. So then your second reference has to be your present employer. It can be your immediate reporting officer or uh, your fellow partner or your business partner for those of you who are sort of like the partners in your organization. Or uh, you can also get your HR representative to sign off as the second reference for you. So if you are in your organization for six months or less, then you can put in your immediate past employer or a, a full member of um, an accountancy body, for example, a full member of ICAI. So for the character reference form, you notice that once you fill in the details, all you have to do is to click this button, preview and print, and the form is nicely created for you. So then you will need to get your two character references to sign off on this form. Don't worry, you can use e-signature, which I think most of us are already using presently. So you can get them to e-sign on this document, the first person as well as the second person. Or if you meet up with the person, you can get him or her to also physically sign on this form for you. So once you have the signed form, save it in your computer because later on you will be needing to upload the signed document as one of the supporting documents. So we are almost to the end already because this is uh, the second last page. Basically, this is very simple. Uh, of course, uh, um, being, a, being a professional body, we need to ensure that all of us here you know, have uh, no um, bad prior bad records. I'm sure all of us don't. So it's just a simple declaration. So then 
comes to the final part, which is the document upload. So documents to upload, the ones that are mandatory are marked in the asterisk. Number one, your FIN, NRAC or passport. Number two, your ICAI membership certificate. Number three, your ICAI transcript. Number four, your signed character reference form, which you would have downloaded it from the previous page. And that's all you need to. So I'm sure, you know, most of the things you already have is only the reference form that you maybe need to get the two persons to sign for you. So once you have that, it's as easy as uploading the soft copy of the files here. So you can see that I've, you know, uploaded documents for these four mandatory items. NRIC, FIN or passport, the front and back of it. So you can take photos and then maybe just put it on a Word document, upload it as a PDF that works. So once you're done, all you have to do is to check through one more time. So it will have a summary page for you to just have a quick glance. If you like, you can also print this page out for your future reference. And um, I'm sure all of us, most of us here are residing in Singapore. So you can click that because that will mean whether you'll be charged our goods and services tax. And then it's the final page, which is none other than the payment, which should be fairly easy. Yep. So I'm more or less done with the demo. Hopefully, you know, that gives you an idea. And, you know, if you are initially worried, it's going to be a very tedious, many paperwork process. You can see that, you know, it's everything is digital online. You can do it in a day or two. So hopefully that this demo, um, you know, kind of gives you a better idea. In fact, yesterday when I asked, I think one of them, uh, Kushal or Nishan, about how is the experience like, he was sharing with me that it was a pretty simple process for him. So hopefully that will be the same for you also. So um, back to you, Mahesh. Uh, I think um, we can go through the questions next. Sure. Yeah. So first of all, thanks, Cheryl. This was a very detailed and informative demo. Uh, I think... Um, Having used the website myself, I, I can attest to the fact that it's one of the easiest applications to put in. Um, having said that, Cheryl, there are some questions that obviously we have. You've gone through some of the questions, but let me just sort of rearrange the sequence of questions. Um, uh, oh, great. Fantastic. I think I you have guys have already screen. picked up some <laughs> of these questions. All right. Would you like to just sort of breeze through these questions and the answers? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I okay. can do that. So maybe um, why not I read through the questions and the, the, our answers to the questions. And then while I do that, if you have uh, additional questions, you can type it in the chat. I think sure. Mahesh is uh, compiling that. So let's get into the questions. So number uh, one. Sure, how, sorry, before yeah. you start off, just for the benefit of everybody else, this session is being recorded uh, and the details of the recording will be shared with all the members and the others who've joined the call. So, so you don't have to grab, run and grab a pen and paper immediately. Just want to let you know that. Uh, back to you, Cheryl. Yes, thanks. Um, so first question, how to register with ISCA? Is there a registration form? I think our demo had already shown that. So if everything's online, go to our ISCA website. If you don't have an account with us yet, click on my profile, you know, set up an account with your email and password. And then once you have logged in, click on, uh, 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 register for new membership and then um, click on associate membership. So number two, what is the process? Are there any exams? Uh, is there any one-time or recurring fees? Can associate members hold certificates of practice in Singapore? So there are multiple questions here. So number one, there is uh, for ICAI members, there's for admission as an associate member, there's no exam requirement. Already as an mem ICAI member, you can and you are immediately eligible to be an associate member. So I hope that answers the first question. Number two, one-time and re or recurring fees. So there'll be a one-time admission fee of $100 for being admitted as an ISCA member, as well as an annual membership fee. I'm sure all of us are familiar with annual membership fees. So the annual membership fee is $200 before GST. So that answers the second part. 
And then can associate members hold certificates of practice in Singapore? So currently under the ACRA regulation for the public accountants license, only chartered accountants of Singapore can apply for the public accountant license to practice in Singapore. So that happens if you happen to be a, a partner or in a you know, firm sign off audit reports, then you have to be a CA Singapore first before you apply for the public accountant license. So next question, other than the current and previous employer, can anyone else, for example, in your Singapore chapter of ICAI or your ex-bosses be your second character reference? So the purpose of the character reference is that uh, the person should uh, who attests to your character should be you know somebody who interacts with you on a frequent basis and you know recently. So if you have been employed with your current employer for at least six months, um, we would uh, need you to um, get your reporting officer or your HR manager to be your second character reference. If uh, in the case where some of you here um have worked for less than six months in your current employer you can provide your uh the name of your immediate past employer uh and if let's say if you're unable to do so um even in this option then your alternative is to get somebody whom you know from any of the recognized accountancy bodies to sign off as your character reference but he or she should have uh, known you for at least six months Moving on, next question, can any current ICAI member provide a reference letter for your associate application? So there's no reference letter per se. The only document that we need is the one that we mentioned, the character reference form. So like what I mentioned just now, um, usually your second character, your first character reference is somebody uh, who is from the any of the recognized professional body. Your second one should preferably be your um, somebody in your current employment. But if you have difficulty doing that uh, for valid circumstances, then you can get another full member of ICAI who have known you for six months or more to sign as your second reference. Um, so for example, in a case where some of you here are on a career break of and currently not in employment, um, does the formalities change for you to obtain the membership? Uh, any past employment letters uh, required? So similarly in your case, um, you can get somebody whom you know within the ICAI membership to sign off for you if let's say you are currently not working or if you have difficulty getting the reference from your immediate past employer. Okay. This is a popular question. Is it necessary to live in Singapore or work in Singapore for six months to be eligible for the ISCA membership? Does volunteering or charity work count as work experience? So the local domicile requirements requires you to have at least six months of continuous work experience in accounting or finance functions in Singapore. So that is the requirement for the domicile criteria. Um, and uh, although you have big hearts volunteering in charity or volunteer work, um, if it's not related to finance or accounting, uh, then it will not be considered. But if it relates to accounting or finance, it can be considered. So some of you here may have already um, applied or submitted like a draft and you are maybe not sure, you know, what's the status. And in this case, what should you do? So usually you will hear from us. Um, so if there are additional supporting documents or clarifications that we need, our membership consultants will usually call you or email you for a follow-up within the next few weeks of your application submission. So sometimes if you do not hear anything, it is good news actually, but you will receive something, an email notification to tell you, um, it's, a, it's an auto email to tell you that your application is complete and we are processing it. So if you see that, it's good news because it means very good, excellent. You have submitted everything nicely. We don't need further details from you. And we are in the midst of uh, putting up your name to our ISCA Council for membership approval. And soon you'll be notified of your membership approval. So let's say if you just want to find out, you know, what's the status, speak to someone. 
uh, you can reach out to us at this email address, membership at iska.org.sg or call us or come over to Iska House. We also have a WhatsApp uh, function where you can WhatsApp send a WhatsApp message to our WhatsApp account and our officer will also reply you on, on, on your status over the WhatsApp. So um, if for those of you who are intending to come on board the ISCA membership and you are thinking, can you sort of you know, take a break from your membership? What is the process? So um, the question is, if there is a break in ISCA membership, let's say if you join the first year, but then second year you decide not to renew, can your membership be subsequently reinstated and what is the process? So yes, if you wish to reinstate in the future, assuming you, you, you do not renew subsequently, you can log into our portal and click on the reinstatement button, but this has to be done um, by 31st December of that year to submit your reinstatement application. So there's a reinstatement fee. So um, try not to do that. Of course, uh, if you are late in your renewal, usually you know there's a leeway until 31st December to reinstate it. Um, if you miss that, then it will likely have to be a re a fresh new application all over again. Sure. So what in the interest yeah. of time, in the interest yes. of time, uh, yes, yes. I realize that there are some other questions ah. that are there are in a, in, a, in a way certain repeated questions. Can I suggest that while we circulate this later uh, to our members, we pick up some of the very specific questions that have been coming in? Would that be okay for you? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, so uh, let me let me just uh, you know kind of sure. select the. I let you complete um, this in a quick manner, and then we can. I'm just in the interest of time. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. So validity of membership one year. So it, based on calendar year. Um, so annual fee, uh, yes, I covered that. There's an annual membership fee of for associate. It is $200 before the GST. So usually you will need to renew your membership. Uh, we will notify you sometime you know, during November, December before the new year starts. And I think this part here I will likely skip because I think I've uh, more or less covered during my sharing earlier on the benefits and opportunities including uh, privileges. So there are plentiful of uh, privileges here uh, for you to enjoy. Even, you know, we have, uh, um, besides all the networking opportunities, uh, even merchant privileges that you can enjoy. So, okay, I think I'll cover this because it's pretty important. Can ISCA membership be used as a pathway to get membership to other bodies that do not have uh, joint arrangements with ICAI? So this one is up to the other professional bodies if they accept uh, ISCA membership for admission. But currently, ISCA has reciprocity agreements with these other accountancy bodies, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, England and Wales and Scotland, where if you are a CA Singapore, you can apply to be a member of these other professional bodies via our reciprocity agreements. So this applies to if you are a subsequently a CA Singapore member. Um, okay, so I've covered this earlier on, only CAs in Singapore can apply for the public accountant's license. If you would wish to be a tax practitioner, you can also apply uh, separately with the Singapore Chartered Tax Professionals. So I, I think Mahesh, that's, that's about it I wanted to cover actually, yeah. Thanks a lot, Cheryl. I really appreciate it. And I, I also appreciate the fact that uh, you and your team are taking the additional time to uh, walk us through this, um, even though our session time is ended. So thanks for that. Really appreciate that. Uh, there are just a few quick questions and we can probably come off the present mode on this one, um, which are, uh, and this is a question that has come up in some other formats as well. So transitional agreements or transitional arrangements so there was a time that uh, the transitional arrangements were there in place, but that was primarily for CPA um, of Singapore to, to become members of ISCA. Uh, are there any other transitional agreements that are there in place that apply to ICAI members? Okay, so um, there was, um, let me just uh, try to work around that. Um, so transitional arrangements, are. Uh, is uh um currently um there's there's a 
in a way, transitional arrangements uh, has uh, sort of phased out. Uh, so now we are talking about the reciprocity agreement. So that happens when um, someone is a chartered accountant member. So uh, in, in other words, uh, basically transitional arrangements uh, have been phased out. So anyone who wants to be a chartered accountant in Singapore will have to go through the Singapore CA qualification program. Uh, for coming through the reciprocity agreements. So for between ISCA and ICAI now, um, um, by way of coming in, it's through being a, a associate, member. associate member, correct. Yeah. And from yeah. there, they would need to take the next steps to become a CA. Yeah. Thanks for that, Thanks. Sharon. Uh, Sharon, another question. Uh, in terms of the usage of uh, the title, uh, how do what's the best way to represent on say public forums like LinkedIn, etc., uh, that you're an associate member of ISCA. Mm. So the, What's official, the guidelines around that. Yeah. So uh, for those of you who have joined as our ISCA members, when you log into your ISCA portal, you can um you there's a there's a digital badge, uh ISCA member digital badge that you can download. So you can use that to put in your LinkedIn or your email sign off. So the official title uh, would be Associate Bracket ISCA if you are wanting to put it in your business cards, your LinkedIn or your um, professional profile. So once you have uh, gotten approval to be an associate member, you can uh, indicate this title in your profile. Associate Bracket ISCA is the official designation. Thanks for that, Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl, another question is around um, the reinstatement of membership. So the, the question is there are potentially people who may not, for whatever reasons, uh, may not have um, you know, uh, paid their membership for year one and year two and, and would like to reinstate, say, in year three. So how long is the reinstatement possible? Is there a time frame? Is there a tenure to this? Mm. So usually you have to start you have to renew your membership by around uh, March or April each year. So if let's say if you overlooked for different reasons, you would, there's still a chance for you to reinstate by 31st December of that year. So if you do not reinstate by 31st December, your membership will lapse. So if that happens and you don't renew your membership, uh, if you want to come in, say, the second or third year or fourth year, then uh, it will likely have to be a fresh new uh, application, which, um, you know, that there's a bit, it, it, since, since you already meet the criteria of being an ICAI member, it really means to just apply um, fresh. But in between, during your lapse of your membership, you're not able to indicate yes. yourself as an associate ISCA title. Understand, and I'm I'm presuming that uh, the new application will uh, have a new admission processing fee as well. The one-time um, fee will apply again. Un yeah, un unless there are changes, so it will be as if you had you know the the same process that you are doing it now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for that. Um, there is of course um the the question from people who may not um be sort of employed with a specific employer. They might be doing freelance work or they might be self-employed or mm -hmm. potentially running businesses. Uh, yep. If they do not have a person who's a manager or a HR uh, specific person, is it okay for them to get the second character reference from um, a member of the ICAI? Yes, um, so for those of, um... For, for those who are maybe um, kind of run, freelance running your own business, number one, you can get your business partner if you have to be your se second character reference, or you can also get your client. So if you provide professional services, you can get your client to be your second reference. If these options do not work for you, then the last alternative is to get a member from ICAI whom you know for at least six months to be your second character reference. Thank you for that, Cheryl. Cheryl, another question is around the events, since you've spoken a lot about the events, uh, and I, I've seen a number of these events being held uh, by ISCA over a number of years. Are these events all paid, or are there events that are complementary? What's the, what's the general guidance? Mm. So a lot of the um, causes, um, events with uh, learning, kind of learning objectives, for example, conferences, webinars, seminars, they are paid uh, Paid and but don't worry, there's the members' rates for ISCA members. 
But that, that aside, a lot of our networking events, um, kind of social events, they are complementary for ISCA members. So I would say that's a good mix of paid and uh, complementary events. Fantastic. Um, in terms of the um, entry requirements, it is quite clear that people need to have a certain domicile. And that domicile is around six months, right? Uh, what about the validity of the membership if people move out of Singapore and uh, they continue to pay their membership fee? Uh, is that membership still valid if they have, say, moved out of Singapore? Yeah, so the membership is valid no matter where you move. So the only thing that you have to do is remember, you know, to renew your membership. So it doesn't matter if you move out of Singapore, if you, you know, um, relocate overseas for work. In fact, a lot of our members um, reside overseas, but they have faithfully been paying the membership fees. So um, you are good to roam wherever you want in the globe. Fantastic. Um, Cheryl, uh, another question that I have is around um, transcripts. So you talked about transcripts. Now, uh, the background is that ICAI, the, the concept of transcripts has been quite recent. There are a number of our members who have basically mm. been, uh, you know, uh, have been members of ICF for a very long time and transcripts mm. in those years may not have existed, but what they would have is probably exam mark sheets and the past certificates. Would that be acceptable documents or would you require them to apply uh, for the transcripts specifically from ICAI? Mm. So for those of our ICAI members here who have perhaps um, you know, completed it some time back, it's fine if you have uh, if you provide any other document that can stand in as a transcript, so not strictly a transcript. Um, in fact, I think with the ICAI membership certificate, that would um, um, be most for, first and foremost needed. Um, another option in lieu of the transcript is uh, in case uh, our team needs more verification, one way is to get a kind of like a letter of good standing from ICAI. From the so don't yeah. worry, there are alternatives for you to, to, to work around. Yeah, so, so a general note here to the members who are on the call. Uh, if if people do need a certificate of good standing, our membership team, I'm sure, of the Singapore chapter can help with that. Um, and sort of we could circulate details about that later. Uh, there is one specific other question, which is around employers. So the AES scheme is obviously for the employers who are accredited. If there are people who are not necessarily working for AES uh, mm. currently, but they were sort of working for AES employers previously, um, is this sort of the time period? Is it very specific that it has to be somebody who is, uh, you know, working with the AES employee for the past six months who needs to sign the certification or can it be anybody for that matter? Mm. So when the question asks you about whether your employer is an AES, uh, it would refer to your current employer. So even though your former employer is but your current employer is not you will have to base it on your current employer so don't worry the difference that the aes whether aes or not the difference that it makes is whether you need to get your supporting documents certified through copy yeah, yeah. Uh, and just on that one Cheryl, the certified true copy ctcs um, who can certify this mm. so anyone from icai full member of icai can do that for you so that should be pretty easy. If you, yep. uh, if your friend is overseas, you need help to get it certified through copy very quickly because you're so eager to join, you can just hop over to ISCA house, bring your true copy, and then our, our, our officer will photocopy for you and will stamp the certified true copy for you. Thanks, Cheryl. And for people who do not know, ISCA is on Cecil Street, uh, very close to Manulife building. Yes. Um, and opposite the Prudential Tower building. Okay, um, I think we have pretty much covered all the questions that we had. Um, my my uh, sort of, I'm just gonna ask people if there is any last minute questions that are there, please put them in the chat. If not, um, I think we would get to the stage where questions might be repeated in different shapes and forms. Cheryl, who can people reach out to if they have any other questions? Um, yep, so I think I'll get my colleague Shobana to just paste in our email and the hotline number mm -hmm. um, so um, so that everyone uh, you know is, is, uh, can can take note of that. Um, so I believe these are also available on our ISCA website under contact us. 
So just reach out to membership at iska.org.sg or you know, call us or um, do the WhatsApp message to us. We will we will link you up with uh, the best uh, membership consultant to help you with that. Fantastic. Uh, Cheryl, uh, on behalf of uh, uh, ICAI Singapore chapter, I think uh, this has been a very, very useful session. Uh, it's been very informative uh, and thanks for taking the time and the patients to run through the demo uh, and I'm actually taking the time to pre-fill the forms for us to to sort of make it easier while you did the demo. Um, 